Series B56 differential valve. These valves are available in sizes from half inch BSP to two inch BSP. They are normally open valve, 0.5 to 10 bar pressure range. Uh, suitable for petrochemical and uh, other applications including hot water, standard with Viton seats. The IP65 coil and IP65 connector plug, LED, so when you put the power on it lights up. Valve is normally open with a differential of 0.5 a bar. Uh, this is a bypass tube here uh, to give it the normally open function and uh, energize to close. I'll take it apart and show you how it operates. Previously loosened off some of these components. It's the coil. This is the armature tube operator assembly. It's a spring to hold the diaphragm down. This operator is a normally open function. So that the valve is, the operator is uh, compressed down to here by the spring and it powers, when the coil is energized, it pulls it into the armature tube like that. As it's pulled into the armature tube, it seals off a jet, which is in the top stem here. That top stem is then connected to the bypass of the valve to the downstream. Normally, the fluid is flowing through here, through the bleed hole, bleed hole in the diaphragm, and through this assembly and out, which keeps the valve open by the differential pressure of the valve. When the valve is energized, <clears throat> the operator pulls up into here which cuts off the flow and allows the diaphragm to push down and close because the pressure increases on the top. So all we're doing with this valve is, is opening and closing an orifice inside here which is allowing the actual unit to vent off the top here. Media pushes the diaphragm up when the valve is de-energized the liquid flows through here which and changes in the opposite direction. It's a metal to metal face on these components. There's a spring here to hold the diaphragm in place to assist it to close. I'll take this apart and show you how it op this internal assembly. On the base of this valve there is an arrow to show the direction of flow in and out. We have the top cap which has a o-ring face which seals on the inside of this area here. And this is the Viton diaphragm assembly. The seat here seals on the main valve seat here. There is a bleed hole through the diaphragm here and the liquid media comes in here through the diaphragm out through the top of the valve out and through this area and downstream. By interrupting the flow of this media through here we allow the product to push the diaphragm either up or down opening and closing the valves, the diaphragm itself is flexing inside here.